Welcome to the Hardcat Core 99 series. In this episode, we're going to look at how to create a new notification out of Hardcat. To access the notifications area, we can either go via the notifications icon or via the list menu, lists, notifications. The notifications area allows you to create scheduled reports, scheduled exports to be emailed to users across the different areas of Hardcat from administration, assets, core entities, and our different modules around purchasing, help desk, depreciation, maintenance, and stock. Today, we're going to create a notification being sent to a particular user, informing them of all the people movements that have occurred on assets for the last month. To do this, we have to go to the assets area. Now we're in the assets area, we can create a new notification by clicking new. With a notification, we first of all have to give it a description. This description is not the email subject. This is the description that is shown in our notification list. So this is person movements. The email subject provides the email subject line that is presented to the user in their preferred email client. We can now update the email body to include a message to the user. So we now have entered text into the email body area. We can now press OK to save this. Our next area is a work group. We can apply a work group uh, to this notification. Therefore, when the notification is sent, it's only associated to assets associated within that work group. We also can deactivate a notification if required using the active tick box. And then we also can not send a notification if when the report is run, there is no outputs. That can be achieved by selecting this tick box here. Next, we get to decide who is the recipient of this notification. This can be done in one of two ways, either by using a saved person search specification or using the select manually option. Today, we're going to use the select manually option. To that, select manually, then press choose. Within this area here, we can either select to add people in by an entire folder at a time or choose people individually. Today, I'm going to choose someone individually by selecting on the files and pressing the add button. This email is going to go to Dan Drum, and he exists in the employees folder, select Dan Drum, and go OK. As we can see now, he's added to the files and items area. We can press close to save this list. The report we need to assign to this notification is the fixed report, asset movements by person report. With this report, if we don't apply a search result, it will be all movements since the first day of the system. If we want a more shorter time period, we can apply a save search to this. As there are currently no save searches available to this type of report, we can press the search label to open up the list of the save searches. To create a new one, we can press new, and we can create a search history here. So if I want to do a search to only show all the movements in the last month, I can base it on the actual date field on the asset history table. I can go plus with actual date selected, and I only want it to be transactions in the last month, therefore I'll use within the relative range search criteria. Select choose, select last and month, and one month and OK. And press OK to save this. And I'll call this all transactions last month. And as we can see here is our save search. I can press OK now to save that search as now in our drop down for save searches, all transactions last month uh, is now available. We can also apply a custom report and or an export definition to this notification. Our next area is cycle pattern. This is how often do we want this notification sent? The cycles can either be a cycle based around a day, a week, a month or a yearly cycle, or it can be a once off. For this report, we want it to be sent on the first day of every month. To do that, we would select every month and every one day regularly. Or we can choose actual date being the, every month on the first day, or we can choose a relative date being the first Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or first, second, third, fourth, or last of one of these days. As I want to be the first day of the month every month, I'll choose actual day for every month on the first day. To save this, we press OK to save the notification. We now have a person movements notification created in the system, which will be scheduled to run every one month. 
for notifications to be sent, the Hardcat Entity Manager service has to be running on a server, or the Hardcat Entity Manager application needs to be running and your email settings configured.